Oh, so I was looking at the last one. We might have to come back in for that. Anyone who listens to or collects vinyl records. I think the part of it is that they're coming into the store with to be surprised. Seems to have a special, if not a bit eccentric, connection to music. It's a connection owner of White Bear Lake Records, Chris Valenti, embraces. You go into the store and you just flip through and, oh, I've been looking for that. Valenti is one of three owners of the store and the small shop has a large inventory. That's a good one, I think, if I remember right. Among the records and vintage yeah. gear sits a coffee can painted in the colors of the Ukrainian flag. He's collecting donations for the Red Cross, feeling both helpless by the war and hopeful by the generosity of his customers. I would hope that the money, yeah, yeah. the money's not gonna help stop this, but the money's gonna help the, what, what's happening. It's gonna help the people who are in danger, who, who don't have homes, everybody who's fled. Valenti has a friend from Belarus who now lives in Luxembourg, hearing updates from her which horrify him, clearly empathetic, to the war's many casualties. It's, it feels so horrible to feel so, we just feel like our hands are tied, that we can't really do anything, and that this is genocide, and this is, children are being killed, old people are being killed, and people really need to do something. And it, it makes me cry, I've cried about it, just thinking about it. And you just feel so hopeless, you really do. In the scheme of things, the donations may amount Sorry. to little financial help. But sometimes a small gesture can help restore some sense of power to the helpless, those clearly moved to make a difference.